Hey guys, James with Lot Hill. Today I'm going to go over how to set up this little guy. It's an RFID badge reader. Uh, this is the PC Prox Plus model from RFIDs. It goes with these little badges that we have. It's the size of a credit card. Uh, you can also use a key fob, but without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set this thing up and uh, start scanning badges. Let's get into it. Hey, this is James. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and set up this little badge reader. It's the RFIDs PC Prox Plus badge reader, and it's a USB device. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. No uh, drivers or anything like that to set up. So it'll beep a little bit when you plug it in, and then I'm going to take my badge reader, and that's what I'm going to use to scan. So first, what I want to do is set up the software um, within Time Drop. And I'm going to go ahead and open Time Drop. I'm going to log in using the default username and password because I have set anything up other than this for testing. Uh, I'm going to go to Manage System Options. We're going to click on the Terminal tab. And down in the middle here in the bottom, it's uh, Scanner Type is what we're looking for. Set that to the RFIDs PC Prox Plus or PC Prox. There's two modes with this. You can allow people to enter a username and password or you can require them to use the scanner only. Typically with this, it's scanner only is what you want because you're trying to eliminate buddy punching. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this option off for now so I can do either username, password or scanner. So I'm gonna click save, close that out. And then I'm going to go to manage employees. I'm gonna select the manager account. I'm gonna double click. Alternatively, you can select the account you want to edit and then click edit in the toolbar. You're gonna click the security tab. And then for the password, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scan the badge. Uh, not the password, the username rather. Just scan the badge. And you'll see it'll put the ID of the badge in the username field. So I'm gonna click save. And then close out of manage employees. Now we're gonna go to the clock in or out area. And I'm just gonna scan the bat. That's all I'm gonna do. And you're gonna see that it clocked me in. Hit okay. I'm gonna do it again. You're now clocked out. So it's that simple. All you need to do is set the badge ID as the username within Manage Employee. If I sign back into Manage System Options, go to Terminal, this require use of scanner for clock in out. I'm gonna turn that on so you can see what it looks like. And let's go to clock in or out again. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch that. And you can see now it clocked me in. Um, and it does not allow me to do username and password. I'm gonna go ahead and go back, scan my badge, and it's gonna clock me in, or it's gonna log me in rather. So I can adjust any other settings, add new employees, that type of thing. If you have any questions on how to connect the RFID badge reader to Time Drop, feel free to reach out at 855 Lot Hill or shoot us an email at product.support at lothill.com. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for checking out the video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions or have an idea for another video, let us know in the comment section below. We've got a lot more videos coming, so stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.